Hey guys, so we started off with FST7 extensions. Obviously, as Andre put it, it was one of the hardest exercises he did. I'll let you speak for yourself. Yeah, the, like the, the, black, the, the first exercise that we did, the leg, leg extension, the FST7 style, it was like 90% of my of my whole workout that I've ever been doing on legs. So Compared like to the pump, previous workouts. Yeah, the previous workout that I did on my own. harder than 90% yeah. of the whole workout. The whole workouts I've been doing on my, on my own back home. Uh, but the pump, like, the pump is next level. I can't even, I can't even explain it. Okay. So now we went over to leg press. We just finished leg press. We made sure that his form was really good where he kept his knees over his toes. And then we, we built up the weight without going too crazy because we don't want to feel all of the weight in the joints, like his ankles or his knees or his hips. So what we were able to do is we were able to get a really good pump from that as well. Then we changed up his foot positioning so that we can work the vastus uh, lateralis, which is the outer quad. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into a sissy squat. And you know what's funny? Because every time I've been doing leg extension, like after the second or third uh, set, I start getting pain in my in my uh, knees. knees. And like we've been doing like seven sets and I have no pain. And then we did the leg press and again, no pain. And every time, like I told you before, every time I've been doing uh, a close stance with uh -huh. my feet position, I always used to get pain on my on my uh, knees and my knees always go in. Mm -hmm. But this time, like I have no pain, like everything is, the muscle my connection is only on my, uh, on my, on my legs, on the quad, yeah. Right, no, right. No one. Right, because in the past what was happening was when his knees were going, traveling in and outward, the direction of the force and tension was going onto the joint. Mm -hmm. Now what we're doing is we're aligning everything and it's super, super important. And I don't care if you're an experienced lifter or you're an amateur, you could be a pro, you need to make sure that your biomechanics are all in line because that's when you're gonna be able to put the maximum tension on the muscle and not the joint. Just keep that tight. Good. Good. Keep it up. Keep that tight. Good. Out front. Right in front. Lower. Go lower. Lower. Right there, just keep it like that. Just tight. That's it. Just like that tight. Good. Good. A little deeper. Good. Good. Keep the back straight. Good. Good. See the knees are right over the toes? Yeah. Good. Feel okay? Yeah. Good. 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 When you go all the way down, squeeze with your glute on the way up. Good. Bend your knees, bend your knees. Good. Good. Chin up, chest up. Good job. One more. Good. Stay right there. Okay, now give me five partials up. One, two, three, four. All the way up. All the way up. Good job. Fuck. Oh. Oh. And that's without weight. Oh. And uh, another thing going to be fun. Because to be honest, I've never done this before uh -huh. in my gym. I don't really have it that much. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> and this one going to be weird, the position. Mm -hmm. And my my feet, it, they tend to go like that. Mm -hmm. So like my feet, is, my toes are up. Is there any problem with that? No, just try to do with the best you can just to be locked in. Okay. You're going to feel a little bit of your toe wanting to go up. It's yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's kind of natural. I mean, yeah. Try to keep your feet as flat as possible. As flat as possible. But, but, if it, yeah, but if it lifts that's a little fine. bit, you're fine. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, what you want to do is you just want to make sure you get your hip down, it break parallel, mm -hmm. and then drive up. So that way you can make sure that you're getting And then on the way up, huh? Yeah, do you. You want to squeeze your up? You want to squeeze up your glutes a little bit on the way up. Oh. Good. Come on. A little deeper. There you go. Good. Yeah. Keep back straight. Okay. Go. Down, 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 down. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. There you go. I think this is going to be weird the position. Yeah. Good. A little deeper. Good. 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 Come on. That's it. Good. Three. Two. One more. Okay, five partials. Stretch Yeah, stretch what? I've been doing a lot of foam roll lately yeah. since you told me. Yeah, up a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. And here at the side, uh, 
I keep on. Yep. I've been doing a lot because that's where I got the pain. Yeah, yeah because that's yeah. when you're having a tight IT band, it's, it starts to really pull at your knees. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And also it can cause some hip problems, hip pain. Oh. You ready? Yeah. Uh, All right. Oh. There you go. Chest up, good. 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 Come on. Come on. Four, four. Good. Go. One. Come on. Come on, Andre. Come on. A little deeper. Give me this. Give me five partials. Go. Good. One. Good. All the way up. Five. Two. Deeper. Come on. One more. All the way. Come on. Grab it. Grab it. Come on. That's a regular. That's a regular ambulance. That's a European ambulance. <laughs> <sighs> All right, right now we're gonna go in straight into hamstrings, straight leg deadlifts using dumbbells. We're gonna go ahead and just use a neutral position. So basically what that means is he's gonna end up having his dumbbells right to his side. We might start playing around a little bit with angles, but because we were trying to get the form down first, then we'll make the adjustments into more, you know, variations of the movement. Let's go. Right there. Good. Good. Can you keep the legs straight without being locked? Good. Good. Oh, keep going. Good. Good. Three more. Three more. Go, go, go. Don't stop. Don't stop. Let's go. One. Control. Control. Two. Good job. They better grow, but but this workout. They better grow. Three more, three more, three more. Finish uh, it. Finish it. Come on. Uh, Two. Uh, All the way up. Good job. Uh, 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 How many sets was that? Three or four? Sorry. Control it. Control it. Keep the tension. Yeah, go. Don't is. touch. Tight. I know it's tight yeah. because you're not used to doing straight leg deadlifts. Go. Good. Go. Good. Good. Keep the tension. Good. Look to your right. Look to your right. You see it right there and then back up. Perfect. Just, just right above. Go. You can go down a little lower. A little lower. Right there. Good. That's it. You want to make sure you go right above and drive up. Good. Good. There you go. 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 Three more, three more, three more. One. Two. Now hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Two more like that. Up. Hold it. Ah. Negative, 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 negative. Good, one more. Get those oh. legs to grow. Hold it. Hold it. Hold ah. it. Hold it. Good job. Ah. Ah. You know, on this one, Yep. another thing, like, I saw some people, they do legs like that. Yeah. In and out. Don't worry about that right now. Just straight. Just straight. 
and then later you can do it with pointed toes and it'll work your lower hamstring but just just for now just straight keep, straight keep it straight yeah and then work on trying to work both legs at the same time where not one leg is pushing more than the other yeah because I, I push more with the right one right yep. Yep. yeah good control the negative drive it up good good now point your toes point your toes like that there you go now curl Good. Good. Three more. One. Two. Hold it. Hold it. Now don't point your toes. And I'm going to help you all the way up. All the way here. Hold it. Right there. Keep your feet down. Like that. Hold it. Like that. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Up. Hold it. Come on, come on, come on. Last one. Come on, last one. Come on, keep it together. I'm going to let go. I want you to hold it. I'm going to let go. Hold it. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. That's it. Cheat on your meals, not on your reps. Let's go. Yeah, the way it all <laughs> Chest up, chest up, look up. Chest up, chest up. Okay. Okay. Don't go down too low. Don't worry about going down too low. There you go. Good. Good. Chest up. Look forward. Look forward. Right at the W. Right at the W. Oh. Come on. Good. Come on. Good. Just Two more steps. Good. One more step. Good job. Good. What are you doing? Pick him up. Let's go. This is a round trip flight. Let's go. Come on. Chest up. Chest up. Come on. Come on, chest up. Keep going, keep going. It's time to grow those legs. Come on. This is lightweight, easy, warm up. Fuck. Bro. You want your legs big, right? So that you're gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Chest up, chest up. Look up. Good, good. Good. It's time to grow. Good. Good. Good, chest up. Good. <sighs> Come on, come on, keep it going, keep it going. Good. Uh, let's go. Keep going. We got four more steps. Get it up. Let's go. Get your chin up. Get your chest up. Look up. Uh, go. Uh, come on. Two. Uh, Two more steps. Three. Chest uh, up. One more. Uh, okay. Use your glutes. Use your hamstrings. Uh, there you go. Turn around. It's a round trip flight. Good. Chest up, chest up. Two. Three. Oh, chest up. Keep going, keep going. Use your glutes. Push with your heel. That's it. Push with the heel. Push with the heel. That's it. You see how much easier that is? Good. Go. Push with the heel. Good. Drive. Good. Go. Step. Chest up. Your weight. To your side. Okay, catch your breath, catch your breath. Come on, we got about four more steps. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Finish it. Finish it, Andre. Finish it. Two. Come on. Three. Come on. Two more. Two more. Two more. One more. Chest up. Chest up. Chest up. Good. Andre, how you feeling, bro? 
Good, I might be smiling, but Loki, I'm dying. <laughs> Waiting for the ambulance. <laughs> the ambulance was called 45 minutes ago, still not here yet. Oh. oh, I think you guys gave the, the wrong address to the ambulance. <laughs> What's up guys, just finished up our first leg workout. First time you've done FSC7 for yeah. legs. Um, absolutely destroyed extensions and you felt like it was like 90% yeah, 90% of, of my whole workout I've been doing in the past. Yeah, from the, from the first exercise which was FSC7 leg extension. And so. we didn't go crazy crazy to be honest with you because again, I didn't want to sit there and destroy him, try to make him throw up. That wasn't the point of this, it was really to see what his form was like so I can assess his form assess his biomechanics uh, you know he's got a little bit of discrepancy between his right quad versus his left quad and what we wanted to do is make sure that he, we were able to do things without his joints flaring up did we were able to do that yeah yeah, so yeah 100%. Good? okay yeah. so and that was the key because in the past we would talk and he's in England and he's telling me my knees hurt my hips my hurt hips, yeah. Yeah, all these yeah. things. And, and that was for, from the from the first workout, which was leg extension. Like every time I've been doing leg extension, I always used to get pain on my on my knees. Right. So like we did FSC seven, which was like seven sets, and I didn't feel anything. Like the muscle mu muscle mind connection and the contraction was only on my quads, okay. not on my knees. Okay. Like I did in the past on my on my on my own. Perfect. Perfect. So again having the mind muscle connection in the quads and not feeling it in the knees the it bands felt good he's been rolling those out which is making a huge difference and i, I tell that all the time you guys really want to make sure that you're stretching and you're also doing the foam roller and then we went over to leg press we did leg press made sure that his knees are over his toes so that was huge and then after that we went into some hamstring work we did straight leg deadlifts using dumbbells again nothing too crazy not too heavy then we went into doing a lying leg curl, and then we finished off with walking lunges. Uh, next time we'll go into free weight squats and do some other exercises. Um, but the one that really probably we should really focus on next time as well is sissy squats. We were able to do sissy squats, didn't use any weight, then eventually threw a 25 on there. Sissy squats are great because it takes the pressure off of your knees and works on really your quad, your ham glute, and it really helped me figure out where his deficiencies are. And honestly, he doesn't have major deficiencies. He just has to create consistency. So how'd you feel on that sissy squat? It felt good like before I haven't done it before. So it was a little bit harder for me to get the, the right form and go deeper. As you told me, like, go deeper, go deeper. But like the contraction, I feel it a lot on my quads and also a little bit on my hamstrings. Good. So uh, that's the one exercise I would uh, add in my routine next time so I can get the proper form and get the deep uh, movement on the on the on the six foot. Right. But and it's yeah. all about the movement, yeah. right? So it's all about the movement. So you really want to put as much pressure as you can on as you get deeper into that whole that glute hamstring and that that's gonna really help your glute hamstring tie in. So Again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take it from here and we're going to expand on this. Uh, it ended up being a really good workout. He worked his ass off and I'm really proud of you. Probably one of, probably, I mean like one of the best workouts I ever had on, uh, on, on legs. Uh -huh. On legs and like I said, like the f I was surprised after the FSC 7 first uh, set which was the leg extension. Like, I never felt like that for my work. From my whole workout that I've been doing in the past, like I was like surprised and the pump was there. I didn't have any pain on my on my knees, which I had in the past, and <laughs> the pump was so so like amazing that my skin, I feel like my skin is, is gonna explode, tear off. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. awesome. So tell everybody the last thing that I need you to say, which is the line. Oh, to where? You need to, to remind the, me. To the chapel. To, yeah, that's the one that everyone hits me up on Instagram. On Instagram, you guys keep hitting me up and make me tell him, tell him to the chopper. <laughs> to the chopper. To the chopper. <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> they, say, they think that you sound like Arnold or something. To the chopper. Yeah. So, to the chopper. Andre, we're here. Weska, 